Hello everyone. Hello. A very good morning to all of you. How are you all? I hope you all are good, healthy and fine. And welcome to my GK classroom. So dear student, today we are going to learn about oral hygiene. Yes, oral hygiene. So today we are learning about, we will learn about what is oral hygiene, what is the importance of oral hygiene and how we can make it our daily routine and a healthy habit. So let's begin. So dear student, this is the first chapter of your GK. That is, what is oral hygiene? So what is oral hygiene? Basically, it is a practice of keeping the mouth clean, healthy and free of diseases. Good oral and dental hygiene can help prevent bad breath, tooth decay and gum disease and keep your teeth healthy. Because student, in a daily way, in a, uh, in a day, we eat so many sugary snacks, chocolate, ice cream, fast food, which cause tooth decay and very, gu uh, very gum problems. So it's important to keep your teeth healthy and free of diseases for a healthy smile. So the next is basically what is the role of our teeth? Our teeth are a very important part of our body. We are able to chew food with the help of our teeth to get energy. So um, you must be thinking what is the need of oral hygiene? When you eat something, for example, uh, fast food, chocolate, ice cream, or any sugary snacks, bacteria go crazy over the sugar on your teeth, like ants at a picnic. So the bacteria break it down into acid and can cause cavities, which can also uh, create a pain, a very painful, which is very painful for you. So gum disease can make your gums red, swollen, and sore. So dear student, I think you can understand that what is the need of oral hygiene. How to do oral hygiene? It's very important things to understand. That how, we, how you will do oral hygiene. So basically, brush your teeth twice a day. Yes, it's very important to brush your teeth twice a day to ignore any kind of gum disease, gum problems, okay, or cavities. Do it for two minutes. Yes, brush your teeth for two minutes and rinse your mouth well after paste. So these are very important process or steps to keep your, to maintain oral hygiene. Okay, so how to brush teeth properly? It's very important to know that how should we brush our teeth properly to avoid any kind of gum problems. As you can see, the screen and the step. Do you observing the steps? Yes, let's move to the next point. Okay, so the important points to be remember to maintain oral hygiene are use a pea-sized toothpaste and make sure spit it out after brushing. I repeat, use a pea-sized toothpaste and make sure Spit it out after brushing. Okay, as you can see in the nearby image. And brush for at least two minutes twice a day. Yes, student, brush for at least two minutes twice a day. Start flossing as soon as teeth touch or even earlier to help build good habits. Brush and flossing. Basically, student, these two, are uh, both of them are very important process or step to maintain oral hygiene, brush and floss. So brush and floss properly and pay attention to the back teeth. Visit the dentist every six months. I know you don't like to, it's chance that you don't like to visit dentist, but dear student, it's very important to visit your dentist every six months, okay? So next is, as you can see, this chapter in your book. So let's revise. What is the oral hygiene? As you know, oral hygiene is a process to keep your teeth healthy and free of diseases because teeth are a very important part of our body. We are able to chew food with 
the help of our teeth to get energy and yes one more thing brush twice a day yes brush twice a day when you wake up in the morning and before going to bed so the next we have learned that why do we need to brush before going to bed because while sleeping our bodily functions are in resting mode and our mouth and teeth do not produce the amount of saliva that they usually do so it's very important to brush your teeth when you wake up in the morning and before going to bed some pro tips has been given to you in your book that is brush with a toothpaste that has soft bristle yes student you should use the toothpaste or toothbrush that has soft bristle so it doesn't hurt your teeth or your gums rinse your mouth well to ensure all the toothpaste comes out yes to avoid any kind of gum problems it's important to rinse your mouth well to ensure all the toothpaste comes out after brush do not swallow the toothpaste in case you swallow any toothpaste you must tell your parents okay student so basically let's this is a time of revision so the first question is as you can see on the screen this is a time of revision so the first question is what causes tooth decay yes options are a acid b a c cavities or yeah, d caffeine let me repeat the question what causes tooth decay जो आपके टूथ दिखे जो उसके पीछे क्या रीजन है अगर आपका टूथ दिखे होता है जो सड़ जाता है उसके पीछे क्या रीजन है ए एसिड बी एज सी कैविटीज या डी कैफिन ओके यस एज यू कैन सी ऑन द स्क्रीन द करेक्ट आंसर इज एसिड बेसिकली व्हाट कॉजेस टू कॉजेस टू दिखे Next question is at what age should a child visit a dentist? Kis age me ek bachche ko ek child ko dentist ke paas jana chahiye? So options are A 7 years old when you are 7 years old, B 5 years old, C 3 years old, or D 1 year old. So what is your answer? Yes. the correct answer is when you are one year old when a child is one year old he must visit a dentist let's move to the next one tooth brushes should be replaced every options are a 2 to 3 months b 4 to 6 months c 7 to 9 months or d 10 to 12 months think about it yes the correct answer is 2 to 3 months tooth brushes should be replaced every after every 2 to 3 months let's move to the next one which is the hardest tissue in our body yes let me repeat which is the hardest tissue in our body options are a tooth b bones c enamel or d cartilage Yes the correct answer is enamel the correct answer is enamel enamel is a layer yes enamel is a layer above the tooth which protect our teeth or our tooth from any kind of gum disease okay so let's move to the next question tooth decay is also called dash yes tooth decay is also called dash options are a cavity b bad breath c plaque or d all of the above yes think about it what is the correct answer okay very good the correct answer is cavity tooth decay is also called cavity okay students so i hope you have learned about the oral hygiene the importance of oral hygiene and just promise me that you will make it your good habit and your daily routine so thank you have a nice day